let's take a quick look at the modular content system for Focus. So modular content is stuff like email forms, maybe calls to action, uh, a little sales pitch, something like that. But the bottom line is modular content is content that's going to repeat. So stuff you're going to want to show in multiple places on your website, but you don't want to be writing this code or you don't want to be writing this content. You don't want to be doing this more than once. You want to set it up one time and then deploy it wherever you want. That's the most powerful way to handle stuff like this. So let's, uh, let's take a look at some examples here. So here, here we have an email form that I use on the DIY Themes website. This is my main email opt-in form. This is a perfect piece of content to, to be turned into modular content for use in Focus. Another example might be something like this. I've got this new, uh, I call it an offer. It's really just like a, a little promo thing for focus. Uh, and it's just a piece of content. I can deploy this anywhere. And that way you can see like the bullet items, like what, what are the key things in focus? Well, here you go. I can deploy these anywhere. And then I got a button there at the bottom for people to go buy uh, the software. So that this too could be deployed in a modular fashion. And so let's see how this works. So in Focus, I have a little option here on the left-hand side uh, on your WordPress uh, admin navigation menu for modular content. Click on this, super easy. And what we can do is set up pieces of modular content that you're gonna use in your site. So I've got a couple of examples here, primary, specialized, and then I've got this email form. This is the most interesting one for the example, so we will check it out. So here's an example of an email form that I got from Aweber, my email form provider. I went over here, they gave me some code, I copied it. I came right back over here, pasted it, and hit save. All right, and now let's say I want to deploy this somewhere on my site. We're gonna go to this page, I will edit it, and I know that at the end of this post, or this is actually a page, at the end of this page, I want to deploy this email form uh, that I just created in my modular content. So we will go down to the post meta here. We can select what modular content we want to display from whatever we've set up. I've chosen email form number one, then I'll hit update and we'll go take a look. Now we can view the page. And it's going to display where the modular content is set to display, which right now is just at the bottom of the page. That's great. So here's that email form. And let's say, though, that I think maybe this would be better at the top of the page. This is very important. I want to move it up to the top of the page. This is kind of the beauty of modular content. It's set up to be deployed in the location we just saw, but the system is very flexible. And Focus allows you to choose where you want to put this stuff. You can put it in a lot of different locations on the page, as we will see. So we've got our email form. Let's say we want this at the top of the post box. This is going to move our modular content to the top of the page. Pretty sweet. Now look, there it is. The email form has moved to the top of the page. And this, this little illustration shows you just how powerful modular content is. You set up these, these mission critical pieces of content one time, and then you can refer to them from the posts or pages of your WordPress website and deploy them as needed. Super powerful. This is kind of a, I call these content level associations. And this sort of flexibility has been missing from WordPress forever. But now it is just click away. This stuff is very easy, very intuitive to set up, very intuitive to deploy. And uh, you've got this power at your fingertips with focus. See you next time.